Let's look at spanning trees. So I have right here three switches and four computers. The three switches are currently in their negotiation process to discover which one should be the root bridge. And you can see that all three of the lines are orange. And they're sending currently BPDUs to figure out which one. After a little bit, like right now, you can see that the root bridge has been selected. And now they're able to communicate and forward traffic. One of the lines, the one between S1 and S3 on the right hand side, has been shut off. And so now we have the S2 is the root and the other two are just communicating with it. Now, if I wanted to change which one was the root, I can do that. But I want to do two things. I want to first change from whatever mode we're using to make sure I'm using spanning tree rapid PVST mode. And then I want to set S1 as the root primary switch. So I'm going to go to my CLI on S1, and I'm going to enable then global configuration mode. I will do spanning tree mode rapid, rapid, PVST. Then I want to do spanning tree. Now I'm only using one VLAN, um, so I can do my VLAN one, and I'm going to make this the root and set it as the primary. So that takes care of that. Now it is the primary. The other ones need to now be set to rapid PVST. And I think in order to make sure they're not primary, I'm going to go ahead and set them as secondary. So I'll go right here, <clears throat> enable conf T, then spanning tree mode rapid PVST, and spanning tree. VLAN one root uh, secondary. All right, and then I go to the last one, S3, and I do the same thing. Enable conf T, spanning tree, rapid PVST, rap, spanning mode, rapid PVST. And then span tree VLAN one root secondary, so it's kind of tied with the other one. All right, now you can see that we've got it all set up. We have now made it so that the S1 is the root bridge, and I can check this by exiting out of my global configuration mode into privilege exec mode and I can do a show spanning tree and I can see that this is in fact the root bridge. That means that all of the ports leading out of it are designated ports and all of the ports from the other switches leading back to it are the root ports. All right, now I have my other four devices and these devices are computers, they're not switches, but it's possible that when a computer is disconnected, someone might plug a switch in there and that could cause all kinds of problems. But there's the other issue that when I connect my machines up, they don't have immediate access to communicate because the switches have to decide if they're switches and if they're causing loops. So we're going to, going to assume these things are not going to be switches. So what we're going to do is go to these devices here, the switch, and we're going to configure all of the interfaces that these machines can connect to. Let's do fast Ethernet 0, 1 through 24 as, first of all, access. And then we're going to do a spanning tree port fast, which will make it so they'll try to assume that it is not a switch and go live. And then we're going to do a spanning tree BPDU guard enable, which will shut down the port when it does discover a BPDU, which is part of the spanning tree protocol. So int FA0 slash 1 dash 24, oh, int range. 
and I do a switch port mode access and it probably needs some VLAN but we'll assume it's just VLAN 1 and then we'll do spanning tree port fast and there are other options we can do like uh, disable or enable but we're going to go ahead and just enable it with the default options and turn it on this way then we're going to go spanning tree BPDU guard and then enable. This will turn on the spanning tree BPDU guard and keep these things safe. I'm going to do the same thing on the other switch over here. Int range FA0 slash 1 dash 24 and then we're going to do a switch port mode access and we'll do spanning tree port fast and we will do spanning tree BPDU guard and then enable. All right, now we have it all configured up. We should be doing pretty good. And these interfaces should all be, well, just non switch, non uh, bridge ports. Another thing to note about the BPDU guard and port fast so bpd guard does that port fast um, it wants to make sure you're aware that port fast should only be enabled on ports connected to a single host connecting hubs concentrators switches bridges etc to this interface when port fast is enabled can cause temporary bridging loops use with caution so it's just sending you a warning just be aware all right that is it